In this video, I'd like to talk about multiplying binomials using the area model. So before we do this problem, let's just look at a specific example. So let's say we have x plus 1 times x plus 2. So we have these two binomials. Remember, binomial just means two term expressions. And we're multiplying them together. Now, we learned that we could use what's called distribution, where the x distributes to both and the 1 distributes to both of these, and you end up with four terms, which you can then simplify. But another way to think about these is using what's called an area model. Since we're multiplying these two ideas, and remember that if you had a rectangle, so let me draw some type of rectangle, and the area of this rectangle is going to be the length of the rec rectangle multiplied by the width. And so if we called this, let's say the length, and this is the width, then we could re-represent this problem as finding the area of some rectangle. So let's say this is x plus 1, and we'll say this is x plus 2. And the reason I wrote it like this is now we're going to split it up even further. Since we don't know what x is, it's hard to determine exactly how to split it, but let's just split it right down the middle here. And same for this one, we don't know what x is, so we'll just guess, we'll split it like that. And what we're going to do is essentially find the area of each of these small boxes and then just add them together to find the total area of the rectangle. So for instance, the width of this box and the length are each x, and so the area would just be x times x, which is x squared. Now over here we have 1 for this length here, and x is the width, so this would be 1 times x, or 1x. Down here we have x for this length, and 2 for this width, so that's 2 times x. And lastly, we have 1 for the length, and 2 for the width, so 1 times 2 is 2. So that's the area of each of these individually, but to find the total area, we just add them all together. So we can say our total area, or the product of these, if we call this a, is x squared plus 1x plus 2x plus 2. And you can usually simplify these middle terms here. So 1x plus 2x is just 3x. So x squared plus 3x plus 2. And sometimes you'll hear this called the box method, but the area model is what this is often referred to. Now, it, even if you have negative numbers, you can still apply this approach. Though it makes a little bit less sense since area is a very physical quantity and has to be positive. But it does still work with negative numbers. So feel free to use this box method no matter what. For instance, if you had x minus 3 times 2x minus 5, you can still split it up into this rectangle, and we're going to split it into four parts. Now, because we don't know what x is, it's hard to guess how to split it, so we'll just split it evenly. So this could be x and minus 3 up here. This could be 2x and minus 5 right there. And we just find the area of each. This would be 2x squared. Minus 3 and 2x would be minus 6x. X and minus 5 would be minus 5x. And minus 3 and minus 5 would be positive 15. And again, at the end, we're just finding the area of this, so we add them all together to find the area of the total box. So that's 2x squared. Here we have minus 6x, minus 5x, so that's in total minus 11x, and plus 15. So it does still work with negative numbers, though you kind of have to ignore the physical considerations of it. But let's do some problems. And we're just going to find the area of each of these different colored boxes and then add them all together. So we have x times x, which is x squared, 6 times x, so that's 6x. This is x times 2, so 2x, and 6 times 2 is 12. We add them together, we get x squared, 6x, and 2x would be 8x, and then plus 12 at the end. So let's do a couple more of these. So up here we have x times x, so that's x squared. We have 2 times x, which is 2x. We have x, so this length is x, times this width of 4, so that's 4x. And then this length is 2, this length is, or this width is 4, so we have 2 times 4, which is 8. We add them together. So you get x squared plus 2x plus 4x, so that's plus 6x. And then you have the plus 8 from here. 
And we'll do one more of these. So we have x times x. Again, that's x squared. 4 times x, so 4x. x times 5, just 5x. And 4 times 5, which is 20. So our total answer, we add them all together. You get x squared plus 4x's and 5 more would be 9x's plus 20. Now, you could also check these by multiplying them out. So we had x plus 4 times x plus 5. So if we use distribution, we'll get the same answer. So the x distributes to both, and the 4 will distribute to both. x times x, we get x squared. x times 5 is 5x. Then we do the 4 times x would be 4x. And 4 times 5 is 20. But you see, after simplifying those, you get back the answer that we had. So that's a way to check your work if you're not completely certain that this is right.